Hi, so um, this is worksheet B, number 15. And I know that some of you just struggle with these proofs, but I thought that I'd, so I thought I'd give you a little couple of hints here. Again, this is not the only way to attack this proof. I love that some of you reached out and had some really neat ways to do it. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. And I did kind of give you a hint on the side. First of all, I saw that, um, so I'm trying to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. And let me actually go to a highlighter. I'm trying to prove that this figure, this figure is a parallelogram. And I tend to find the best way to do that is by using, um, making the lines parallel. So if I, my goal, my goal here was to prove that DC was parallel to AB that would prove one set of sides, one pair of opposite sides, and that DA was parallel to CB. Okay. Okay, so I can I was given that angle three was congruent to angle four, and so right off the bat, I can see that um, DC is parallel to AB. Um, so I'm going to get all this going, okay? So first, I went with that given. I went with angle three congruent to angle four, um, which was given, and that allowed me to say that DC was parallel to AB. Okay, now look at that. If three and four are congruent and they're alternate interior angles, that does make the lines parallel. By the alternate interior angle theorem, converse, why the converse? Because I'm trying to prove the lines are parallel. Okay, so I've got that. I'm halfway there. I've taken care of this. I've got to get to these lines being parallel. And the only information they've given me is that one is supplementary to two. Okay, that's it. All right, so I'm going to get that given down. Angle one is sup to angle two. When I see that something is supplementary, I try to see if I can figure out a way to use the congruent supplements theorem. Because that is actually one thing we tend to forget about, and it's a really helpful theorem. Well, if DC and AB are parallel, that actually tells me that 1 and 5 are supplementary. So if 1 and 5 are supplementary and 1 and 2 are supplementary, that means that 5 is equal to 2 by the congruent supplements theorem. And if you saw the little hint I put on this proof, I put corresponding angles. Because if I can prove that angle 5 and angle 2 are congruent, that makes DA parallel to CB. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to say that angle 1 is supplementary to angle 5, and that's because, because of the same side interior angle theorem, because we've already proved that the lines are parallel, okay? And because one is supplementary to two and one is supplementary to five, then two equal, then two is congruent to five. So angle two congruent to angle five by the congruent supplements theorem, which says supplements of the same angle or congruent angles are congruent. All right, so I've got two equals five. So if two is equal to five, that tells me that AD is parallel to BC. Why? Well, because I've just proved that corresponding angles are congruent, therefore the lines are parallel. So I'm going to use corresponding angle postulate converse again. So cap converse. So if we've got reached our goal, if we've reached our goal, we're ready to state our proof, which is that ABCD is a parallelogram, and that is because of the definition of a parallelogram. Now, I know I, I, I assigned the odds, and some of you texted me that you wanted to try the evens for extra practice, which I totally applaud. So I did make a video on number 14 as well for extra practice. All right, guys, have a great day.